all righty little bugs it's a great day honey buns take that love vitamin but take a look and look and see what you need to know let's just pull some regular energies take your love vitamin all right let's see let's use the ancestor cards and see what the ancestors want to you know all right holy spirit what is the collective need to know about the ancestors i hear attention so some of you are the guardian angel your guardian angel could be trying to connect with you contact you to let you know that you are not alone um someone here could be lonely or i'm just thinking so this is also a person that may have been asking for a sign or some sort of synchronicity i heard the word sign the loudest though but i keep hearing the word attention all right what does the collective need to know a shapeshifter, transform and and unveil your gifts. Be bold. This is your confirmation. This is your sign to be bold, unapologetically. You don't owe anybody any explanation for what you know um, or what you know how to do. Shift your perspective. It's time for you to turn into a shapeshifter. That's who you are. Shapeshifting is not bad. It's when people try to use their ability or their gift over others. But use it for you so that people cannot work against you. Now, hold the, hold the space. So there's something they want you to hold the space for. If they want you to think on some things, truly analyze some things, weigh something out, balance something out. Some of you all, you need to ponder about a situation here. And your ancestors are saying you need to shift your perspective. There is something that you cannot see clearly or... Uh, if it's a person, it's a person you cannot see clearly. You need to really focus and meditate. Also doing some praying, but go within. All right, let's take a look. What's this uh, gift they need to unveil? What's the transform? What they need to know? What they need to know? Oh, the three of swords. It's time to get better. Now, this is also a person releasing an ex, letting go of heartbreak. This is like I'm putting the past in the past. In the past I'm leaving it there. I'm over that. I'm getting better. So someone here is like, you know, I, oh, Somebody here regrets an ex. They regret the attention they got from a person. They regret it. They think about it relentlessly. And your ancestors are saying, let that go. Start a healing journey. You know, whatever happened, happened. It could be let bygones be bygones, but you're not there anymore. But someone here, you constantly think about it. It's constantly on your mind. Why did I do this? Why did I not do that? It's like you're beating yourself up over something that's already happened. You know, that whole saying, crying over spilled milk, water under the bridge. It's like a person was very vindictive to you, vindictive to you, um, very spiteful, very hurtful. They broke your heart. They deceived you. Also could have been a dark side of them that you saw that you never expected. You got the unexpected from a person that, this, uh, from a person that you expected more out of. You had better expectations. This is a major disappointment, a major letdown. And this is what the spirit is saying. It's just time for you to let this go. Let this situation go. Clear your mind. Be at ease. And some of you all may even need to focus on your mental health. Focus on getting your mind stable. This could also be confirmation to getting some sort of psychological help, psychological assistance, but not allowing yourself to be stuck in the same place that you were. Some of you all, you've been here for quite some time. You definitely have... Um, it's time it's just time for you to transform yeah all right let's see what else here what else um somebody here has regrets of allowing a person to talk to them a certain type of way i heard that real loud what else do you need to know the nine of wands is somebody afraid of their ex you're afraid to move you're scared you scared of your ex? Oh, yeah. Because this is some... Okay. Somebody here, it's like you are... I hear the word guilty. You could be guilty of something. You are allowing another person to have too much control and power over your mind and over your physical actions. You're not doing anything. And this is like take up for yourself. Stand up for what you know is right for you. And some of y'all, it's time for you to put a mofo in their place. I said, shut up. 
I don't want to hear that. I'm done with that. Stop calling my phone. Don't call me no more. Don't text me no more because I'm through with you. Put them on block. Now, this is some of y'all that have to deal with the ex because of conventional or unconventional um situations or circumstances. This is this your ancestors is telling you, I'm, stop being a goddamn punk, man or woman. Sit that stuff off your chest. Get it off your chest. You're afraid. And it's like you are allowing this person to dictate your life, to control you. Because all you think about is what if I do this? What if I do that? What are they going to do? It's like somebody must, you know, be hanging something over your head. What is this X hanging over this person's head? What is this person hanging over their head? Why do they have this control or power over them? Somebody has mental control over you. That's why you're not doing anything. What is this person hanging over their head? Why do they have this control over this individual? Why? What is this? Oh, my God. The three of swords. Again. You're still heartbroken. Mm-mm. You, 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 you're not, you're not heartbroken. I mean, excuse me, you're not over something or someone. Somebody, I'm sorry to say, you got a very bitter root in you. You have a bitterness towards your ex. You have a lot of resentment. You resent this person. And you're not healed. And it's, it's like you, you, move, you made a move that you are regretting. It's like this person has gotten your attention. You regret giving somebody the attention that they wanted from you because it has caused you much heartbreak. Some of you all, this is a lot of mental headache. It's like your psyche has not been the same since you have gotten involved with this person, since you communicated with them. Some of you all, it definitely can be since you slept with them. I wish you would not have never slept with them because somebody here, you have picked up something. And this looks like something more mentally, psychologically, your mind has a, has been affected. And the thing of the matter is, yep, you shouldn't have slept this person here. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be funny when I say that. Because what's going on here, your ex is a carrier of something. And he or she, when you, you of course, you know, when we sleep, people become one with them. You know, that's the highest form of agreement. But you picked up something that left you riddled and burdened in your mind. And you constantly regret the thought of interacting with this person. I keep hearing the word attention. So maybe you want this person's attention. Maybe you want to talk to this person. Maybe there's something more here than, you know, maybe it's yourself that you haven't forgiven. But it hurts you. It's almost like it's mentally torturing you. It's constantly re replaying in your mind. But the fact of the matter is, this is a person you gave the wrong attention to. The attention wasn't worth it. Yep, you did. See the six of um, pentacles? It's like you allow a person to go too far. They gave you the least. They gave you what you know you didn't deserve. And it's like, you know, it's when, it's when we all realize at times I've been a doormat for something or for someone. And this person, you're, you're feeling walked over. This person hurt you. It could have traumatized you. This person mishandled you big time. A part of it was your allowing um, some of you all, it could be from where you wanted something with a person that you knew maybe you were not going to get the full aspect of, but you kept trying. Bottomless pit. A bottomless pit. It has no bottom to it. Everything you put in that person was being wasted. It's like something was a waste of your time. Some of y'all must have put a lot of time and effort into something and you didn't get a good return. You put a lot of good energy and it wore you out. This must have, this this person has drained your life, vitality. You don't have your you don't have vitality anymore. It's like you, you feel like you want to go on, but it, it's so much, it takes so much mental strength. Your mental ability is is blown to pieces. Where do broken hearts go when they find their way home? You're still broken hearted. I don't know if it's the person like, man, I really want this person. I don't know if it's just that. I don't think so. It's something you're looking at. If I wouldn't have done this, I wouldn't have gotten that. You've picked up a spiritual STI. 
in it because spiritual STIs stick with you. They linger with you and they are meant to make you've been infected. You've been infected and you are affected because of a person. And now the effect of this, effect of this is, it's like you can't get it off of your mind. You feel stuck. You don't know what to do. And some for somebody here, it's like you're, you're caught up in a maze of a cycle. What should I do? How should I do it? Why do I keep replaying this? You don't know how to let go. I don't think it's the person. For some of y'all, it could be the person. But it's how much you gave into this person. You gave them, I'm giving you the best that I got. You gave them the best that you got. And you didn't get it. Yep. You took care of this person. You did a lot for this person. Stop feeling bad. It's time for you to stop feeling bad um, for yourself. It's time for you to make... It's time, somebody you need to prioritize, really prioritize you. I don't know if this person is lacking in your life or you have pulled away because the Six of Swords. You could be thinking about pulling away or already have done it. But it's like, you know, I gave this person my all. Somebody here, you're worried about their them surviving and them living. Well, what about you? You've given it the best that you got. I mean, what else you want to do? You want to be dead? You at the nine of wands already. You hurt. You wounded. You busted up. You see what I'm saying? What else you want to do, boo? You didn't give them everything you got, baby. You have a lot of regrets. You now you could be one of these folks that you know you 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 you, you get a lot of people that you know suck the life out of you and then leave you for dead. That's what it looked like. You almost dead here. Close this part out. Oh, gosh, y'all. Yes. The five of wands. You're fighting. Should I or should I not? I knew it. The eight of swords. You, it's, it's your mental. Somebody here, you 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 may not have realized this yet, but I don't know why, baby. You didn't be in a relationship or something or a situation shit where a person has mentally controlled you. It's your mind. You can't see what I can see. You're blind, baby. You make a lot of excuses as well. You made too many excuses for a person to do what they did. And now, I don't know. You left with just like bad thoughts. Bad memories. It's time for you to balance something out in your life. Make it fair. Make it right for you. But I hear that song, make it like it was the way it used to be. You were trying to make something like it was the way it used to be. And it's almost like for some of you all here, you, you, you really have a war going on inside of you, the five of wands. Why do I keep going back? Why do I keep allowing them to circle me in? Or why do I feel bad for them? Why do I always think about them? Because you've become, you, you, you've been desensitized to yourself, for yourself. It's not, it's not about you. It's about someone else. You've laid with a person for so long, been with a person for so long, or engaged a person for so long, and the scales have not been balanced. You're accustomed to getting the least. You're accustomed to not being admired or noticed or helped or assisted. You are accustomed to being at the bottom. You also are accustomed to being a footstool for this person. You are accustomed to being a doormat. You never somebody here, you've never had anybody to lift you up. Mm -mm. Yeah. You got um this is a message. It's like the attention, it wasn't worth it. All the attention you got or whatever you got from them simply was not worth it but you gave it the best that you got it's like you're second guessing yourself with the eight of swords you're thinking should i with the nine of cups maybe i should try one more time you know i did find myself happy with them some of you all you could have like been places done things explored you know seen a lot of good things in life it's almost like when it's good with y'all, it was good. But when it's bad, it's bad. So the spirit is, your ancestors are saying, you know, you need to shift your perspective, but hold a space for something new. Hold a spe space for something better. We're going to see what the space is, but it's time for you to shift out of this. It's time for you to use the ability to be trans to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You need to be renewed, honey, mentally. Then your psyche will respond differently to your emotions and your actions will become better. You are inactive towards your own life, but you're very active towards another person's life. All right, what's the hold of space? What's the hold of space? Some of you all, there could be other things like, you know, um, 
And some of y'all are accustomed to just like dysfunction. Dysfunction, dysfunction, argumentative, relate, argumentative relationships. Um, people that it, it could be good love making or, or something. It's, it's it's like one thing that's good, one, two things that's good, but everything else makes you question, do this person want me? Do they do they, you know, am I am I really here? Are they here with me or are they against me? Some of y'all are not even sure. Yeah, child. See the death card? Mm -mm. Excuse me. Holding the space is ending it. You need to leave this old something. There's something old you have got to leave behind. The chariot card. And you have got to move forward. Now, you have a hard time moving forward. The ten of wands. You have a hard time moving forward. And you have a hard time getting better for yourself. But that is what you're being asked to do, to transform. But you got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind your mind needs to be renewed and restored. There's some sort of redemption that you need for yourself. Some of you all, you are holding resentment against yourself because you recognize that you have allowed a person to do too much or you gave them too much of you. You gave them your optimal health. You had optimal health. Now you're over here sick. You know, doesn't mean sexual sickness, just mean like you're mentally sick. But this person has made you sick. They could be sick. If you're having a lot of psychological, you know, it's like warfare in this connection. A lot of it with the Ten of Wands. And it could also be that other people have an effect on y'all's connection more so than what you do. So the effect that you think you have on it, you don't. Mm -mm, you don't. Something here is, you know, imbalanced. The scales aren't even. But, excuse, oh, excuse me. You don't speak your truth. So somebody, you're not, you don't stand up for this person. Um, This right here, when your psyche is constantly replaying something, especially when it's not good, it's a bad component, this person wants you to feel bad about yourself. They, they they want you to look at yourself differently. I hear that song by TLC, Unpretty. This person wants you to feel unattractive. They, they want you to feel like you're unworthy. They damaged you. This person wants you to feel like damaged goods. That's why you got to shift your perspective. Close this out over here. The Queen of Swords. It's time for you to cut, cut loose. Cut yourself loose. Cut the rope. There's a soul tie here. It's a soul tie. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, some of you all, it's time for you to cut this person off. Others of you all, it's time for you to not make emotional choices, but intuitive choices. You know better. Do better. You're allowing your emotions to be played on. You're allowing your psyche to be traumatized, damaged. You have become damaged good because of a person that does. This person does not value you. And I'm just going to be honest. They don't value who you are. It's like when you, you're devalued. What's that word? Emascul emasculated. Mm -mm. You become desensitized to your needs, your desires. And that's what a person, uh, somebody likes to see you down, baby. Right, so some of y'all could be attached to a Debbie Downer. You become intimate with a person that's not good for you or good to you. And that's why your ancestors are telling you it's time for you to cut this loose. You got to cut this person off. What's under the Queen of Cups? And work on yourself. Truly work on yourself. Also accept yourself. Some of you all, there's some, there is some acceptance you need to do within yourself. Who you are and maybe even the way you are. Now, something got to go on with looks because I'm here. They playing that song loud again. Unpretty. It could be a weight thing. Could be a hair thing. Could be a skin thing. Could be a toe thing. Look like something, you know, maybe somebody missing a toe, a toe or something. Or maybe missing a limb. There's something that you're missing. But see, you can be restored. You can be made whole if you want to be made whole. The Ace of Pentacles is here. It's your birthright. It's what's promised to you. It's where God will give you beauty for your ashes like he's done many of us and still doing. It's where he will wipe the slate clean. He will turn bad thoughts into good thoughts. The thing that you thought that was going to hurt you and harm you, guess what? You will be able to say, I thank God that I was, I was afflicted by this thing right here. Somebody here, you've been afflicted or you have to, somebody had a spirit of affliction on them, but it's because of a person. 
it's time for you to boss up. See this card right here? You are a bad behind being full of life, love, and possibilities. Somebody here does not want you to see yourself the way you really are. And that lets you know right there, you, you have this person, they have something on them. And they have some sort of effect on you. Patience and planning. Some of you all, you, you could drag your feet a little too slow. The two of wands here. You should be more prepared to move forward in life. And this may be another year that drags about slowly where you don't see many things happen because nothing's happening within you. See, the tarot readings will change when the energy changes within you or the person that you do life with or connected to. So someone here, you're forced, you're being asked to change before they change the situation. And the way they may change, it may be in a way that you're not expecting or wanting. Take a chance on your destiny. Um, Somebody here, your hair won't grow. And you can fix your, something's wrong with your nose. There's Pisces. Somebody, some of you all, it's, uh, uh, you don't have confidence in yourself. You don't feel attracted, male or, male or, or female. But for whatever reason, this person gives me the vibe that they like when, you're, when, you, when you feel this way. They like when you feel less of yourself and you question yourself. This person must have said a lot of things to you to play in your mind like this right here, baby. A lot of things. You feel unpretty. You feel unattractive. Dang. There's Aquarius. Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Taurus, and Taurus. You don't feel good about yourself because of a person. Some of you all, it's time to cut something old and get with something new. The new may not be so much as physical, a new way of thinking about you. And you need to plan, you need to prepare, but you need to get it done. Your ancestors are telling you it's time for you to shift your perspective. It's time for you to shift your life. It's time for you to become a shapeshifter and change things. What you don't like, you got time to change it because you're still alive. Peace and blessing, great day. I hope this helps. Namaste.